line. So, you know, I, I wouldn't, definitely on my part, I would not be going easy. Yeah, definitely not. And, you know, even if, even if that money might actually be going to the same household, you know, the trip might not necessarily be. So That's they will true. be fighting over this. They will be fighting over this for real. That is true. And uh, you know what? Uh, I, I'm going to make a prediction here. And uh, Master has really just dominated this whole tournament. Uh, he, he's coming out of the winner's bracket. You know, I think Vanessa might actually have to win more sets uh, just to come back because she's coming from the loser's bracket. Yeah, yep, she's going to have to win twice as much here. And against Manny, of course, that is always incredibly difficult. Well, here she is putting on the pressure. She obviously feels comfortable against Master, not really doing too much blocking, but doing a great job with that aggression. Wow, look at the damage! Yeah, that, that Azuna damage is just gross, considering that it's an unbreakable throw. That is very true. Very good strike by Master. Good spacing, and uh, now he leaves it 1-0. All right, Master is just putting on the pressure again. You know, that, that air throw at the end there just turns every small juggle into a painful one. There we go again, showing it. Oh man, so much damage. Into the danger zone as well. All right, well here she comes back though. You know, she is not leaving without a fight. She is being extremely aggressive. And I notice when Vanessa is aggressive, that is when she is on point. All right, you know, and unfortunately in the E3 build, uh, some of those danger zones are lit up kind of poorly uh, when you go into the power blow, so you can't really see what button you're supposed to hit for the flying car. Very good little sidestep there by uh, Master. All he needed was one hit, and that's all he did there to finish her off. It is now Master's favorite, two to zero. It doesn't seem like Vanessa's really able to get a foothold against Master here. This might just be a clean sweep. You know, I think you are exactly right, and uh, you know what? Master has the momentum, and he's not going easy on her whatsoever. No, not at all. I mean, at this point, you know, once Master gets his momentum built like this and he's taking it convincingly, it's really hard to just knock him off his block. It's it's so difficult. And there he goes with that clean sweep. That was three to zero. He takes the first set. It is still first uh, to three sets here. And uh, you know, it's, it's really good when you get that first round, when you get that first set. You know, whenever I've played, uh, maybe you feel the same way, but I just feel so much more comfortable and relaxed when I actually have a win to, you know, come from. Yep, exactly. Okay, and there we go. We're starting off the round with an Azuna. Very, very typical of Master, of course. Gonna start, stop this off with the... Oh, I wonder if you could have... Yeah, you should have been able to uh, follow that up there, but of course we haven't had much time to practice on this stage. Still lots of damage coming out of Master, though. And of course, he waits, and for the last move, he will finish it off with the Azuna, because it is DOA Master. And that is what he does. <laughs> Well, uh, he is really got the momentum here, you know. He really is not being nice to Vanessa whatsoever. And uh, he's kind of just really taken a, a, a nice easy street all the way to the finals here. Wow, look at those constant relaunches off the jack-in-the-box and the little bouncy ball there that the clowns are little? running on. That thing is a huge bouncy ball. <laughs> All right, well, here comes Vanessa, though. She is coming back. All she needs is one more hit to win this oh, round. Oh, and of course, you see Masters sitting there trying desperately to get off that power blow. It doesn't really work out for him. Well, it is now even between these two, uh, one and one, and Vanessa is putting on that pressure. She needs to try and win these next few rounds. Now, Master really does have those new juggles just down to a science now. It, they do look actually pretty cool when you watch them like that. All right, now they are just spacing it out here. It's like neither of them want to take a risk, but there we go. Master finally breaks the ice there, and it's going to be an air throw into the wall again. One more hit's going to do it. No. Very good counter by Vanessa. Very nice sidestep also. And she can come back here, but all Master needs is that one hit, and she counters it. And wow, Ma Vanessa actually turns that around. That was surprising. That was very good on her part. Yes, yeah, she countered it, and she did the combo to finish off Master. Master is just using Hitomi's head like some sort of exercise tool. <laughs> oh, sorry. All right, and here we go. Vanessa is up two to one. She is putting on that wall pressure she needs to really take Master down. Yep, and here we go. It's it's almost dead even here, but I mean, you, you gotta expect, you know, they, they play each other so much now that they're probably thinking, okay, I do this often, so she's waiting for this, so maybe I should do this, but maybe she knows that I know that I know she knows. <laughs> <laughs> 
And so you see this constant hesitation going back and forth. <laughs> you are absolutely right. And it is now 2-2 two -two between these. But Master is up one set. And uh, you know what? It, uh, I don't know. I, I can never predict these finals. That's what's so great about these final matches between these pro players. They play so carefully. They're constantly adapting that it's really just anyone's game. Yeah, and DOA especially. I, I think sometimes we suffer from uh, over-analysis when we get down to the wire. And in the end, sometimes it comes down to luck. This is not looking like it's going to work out for Master, though. One more hit and he's done. And that's it. A down punch finishes that match. Well, we are really starting to size up the crowd here in the finals. As you can see, everybody is excited to see the DOA superhero couple go against each other. It is now even. It looks like both of these players have enough practice on each other to really just take this. And, and you know, it really is just, it could go either way. Yeah, it could. It, 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 it kind of makes me wonder here if, uh, you know, these two who play each other every day are even capable of playing a competitive match any differently than a casual match just because they know each other's tricks so well. And their, their master ghost finishing it off with an Azuna like he likes to do. And yeah, I think you, you pointed out something really smart there, Rakuto, is that, you know, they do seem to be playing in a more casual setting because if you noticed earlier between Mamba and, and uh, when Mamba was fighting Vanessa and stuff, they space so much more and they play so much more, like, hesitation. Yeah, they really do. And it, it's like it's, it's just harder to play a competitive match when you play with each other every single day. Yeah. You know all of each other's tricks, and that limbo stun there is going to guarantee that launch so much damage. All right, but you know what? Vanessa is not giving up. Master only... Oh, my God! Very smart by Vanessa. But all Master needs is this last hit to win, and he guards, waits for her to do a move, and then quickly punishes her. It is right, now in favor of Master. Two to zero. You know, if he wins this next round, he will be upset. Two to, two to one. All right, quick counter there by Vanessa. Trying to turn this around. Doesn't quite work out for her. One more good launch, one more good hit. Anything by Master here could just end this. Oh, there it is. That's one more match for Master. He wins one more, and Vanessa is unfortunately done. Well, there we go. Now he is up two sets. And, uh, yeah, one more set for him, uh, three more rounds for him, and he will take this tournament, take the 1K, be heading to the launch party. And, uh... You know, I really am noticing this, this kind of casual setting. They're, they really aren't spacing. They're not blocking a lot. They're just really just going at it. Yeah, I guess maybe it, it is entirely possible at this point. You know, they they just can't really find it in themselves to try to do anything more because over-analysis really hurts the brain. It really does when you play this game sometimes. <laughs> when you play somebody for so long, you know, it, it's just so hard. Vanessa isn't giving up though, you know, they both are at even health now. Zero to zero in rounds and uh, Master, oh, that's all he needed was that combo to a very nice flashy Izuna drop. He loves those, doesn't he? Yeah, I, like I, I've always said in the past, if Master can find any way to end it in an Izuna drop, he will do it. <laughs> there he goes with that teleport parry. Oh, and he misses the juggle there. Very nice throw. He is at the advantage here. He can really just charge in and take her down. Nice teleporter, but unfortunately was not close enough to hit her, and she punished him for it. All right. And just used her like a track. <laughs> <laughs> well, here he needs just this last round to take it and win the I'm a Fighter Championship event going here on at E3. And this crowd is just so huge. They are so hype, and I am so excited to see this final match. All right, you know, Vanessa is just kind of in the barrel here. You know, she hasn't got a single round in this match. She loses one more, and she's going to be done. She needs to do something here. She needs to keep up this pressure. One more good wall hit, start a combo or something. There we go. That's one for Vanessa. Master definitely seems to be having a different fighting style. Perhaps he doesn't want to just dominate his girlfriend here and uh, is giving her a chance for a comeback here. But you know what? With that Izuna drop there, uh, you know, maybe not. No, no. I think I think at the end of the day, Master isn't going to be taking it. Master, I mean, he, he's, he's not going to take anything from Vanessa. He is going to go for the gold here. 
That is true, and I definitely don't want to take anything from Vanessa. She is a wonderful Hitomi player, and you know what? She definitely does. When she gets that pressure on, she will just be in your face and take you down. Yep, definitely. Now it's going to be... Oh, and he, she chooses not to finish it, but he takes the match anyway. <laughs> well, definitely very strange there, because he normally finishes all his Izunas off, but very good. Finishes that last one. Three to one. Be sure not to go anywhere, guys. We will be having an interview against Master coming up here. And you know what? That was extremely good play by Vanessa. 